Welcome everybody to our annual mountain bike industry summit where we put profits before people. Please everyone enjoy your craft single cheese. As profits are up, we have increased our menu items and I think you'll enjoy our healthy food options there on the back table. All right, the first topic during this conference will be axle width and profit. And I need everyone to think about the attribution between millimeters and dollars. More millimeters, more dollars. It's that easy. As you can see by our graph here, we increase axle width, the line goes up to the dollar signs here if you can't see. One of the biggest topics we need to discuss is the 27.5 wheel. Profits. We all know that we have extracted all the profits from this wheel size and it's time to move on. I'm asking for you to vote on killing the 27.5 wheel size. Can I see a show of hands? Isn't 27.5 the fun size? There's no profits in fun. <laughs> Next topic we have to discuss with profitability are frame materials. Well, that's easy. Carbon's more expensive, therefore more profit. And alloy's way too dependable. Our customers hold onto those bikes for twice as long. We're not seeing enough turnover. Question. Yes, I see we have a question. For maximum profits with the women's demographic, are we still pinking and shrinking? Yes. All right, now it's time to celebrate our wins. This group here is responsible for our high pivot campaign, which drove extreme profits. So congratulations. We need to think about the future. How do we keep profits as high as the pivot? I have a suggestion. How do we feel about adjustable high pivots? And this will allow us to adjust our profits accordingly. What did I miss? company scoop and poop mask up for this